Tonight, community members and police officers are coming together as they search for answers in a string of killings that they think at this point anyway, uh, may be somehow connected. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Eric Harriman. Uh, Nikki has the day off. Uh, detectives say that the five killings took place between July and this month. Uh, the map here shows where those deadly crimes happened. We're told that the killings happened in the middle of the night in parts of town that have very poor lighting. Most areas, no cameras. Fox 40's Karma Dickerson talked to one of the victim's families about what was happening here. She joins us now live to give us a better idea of what they had to say. Karma. Eric, we spoke to the family of the man who was the most recent to be linked to this string of killings that police are saying, yes, could be considered serial killings. The family of Lorenzo Lopez, and they thought it was important not just to honor his memory, but to speak out about what happened to raise that awareness and hopefully bring this to a resolution. Larry Lopez says you could learn a lot about his brother, Lawrence Lorenzo Lopez, through his music. Other side of the track, where you might not make it back. His lyrics, they're talking about the streets and how dangerous it is to live here in Stockton. It's like a war zone. Really a uh, person against guns, and that's just how it's really weird that that's how he passed. Even weirder, says Lopez. Is police don't think his brother's murder is an isolated event. You, you see random crimes here or there all through Stockton, and now it seems like they might have something that is connecting the case. Lorenzo Lopez was killed on Porter Avenue just before 2 in the morning, September 27. His brother says the 54-year-old had been struggling in recent years and did not have a consistent living situation. He says Lorenzo did odd jobs, including one that might have brought him to a neighborhood where he didn't live in the middle of the night. Walking through the area, trying to, you know, collect a couple cans, just to get extra money, and uh, apparently somebody, uh, I don't know if there was a argument or anything, they have not led us to believe there was any kind of reason why it happened, but they're saying it was just senseless and it just happened. Lopez was shot dead. Police haven't named any suspects, but they're looking to speak to this person, shown here in a blurry surveillance image. They believe the same person or people are responsible not just for killing Lopez, but murdering at least four other men going back to July. We have a series of homicides that we believe are interconnected. That the problem we have, if we have no evidence to tell us that it's one person, two or three, we just don't know that. We don't have that information. We have no video footage that has even captured a crime, that has even captured a handgun in someone's hand. So um, by definition, you could probably very well call this uh, serial killings, right? And as we bring you back out here live to the memorial that some of Lopez's loved ones have created for him in the streets of Stockton where he was gunned down, we should remind you, of course, that this is hardly the only such memorial going up across the city for other victims. So coming up at 6 o'clock, we are going to talk more about the other people whose lives were taken and more from the plea from the families to raise awareness and bring this to an end. Reporting from Stockton, I'm Karma Dickerson, Fox 40 News. We'll talk to you again next hour. Karma, thank you.